Yeah! Hey, Lingo Kids. Today, we're going to plant some beautiful <laughs> flowers. Did I say plant? I mean draw. <laughs> flowers are really just made up of three things. The petals, which attract the bees. The stamen, which holds the seeds and the pollen. And the stem, which helps the plant get food and water from the ground. Let's draw our flower, starting from the stamen. Start by making a big wavy circle. Wavy because it's waving at the bees to get their attention. And now, inside the circle, draw a lot of little circles. That is the tasty pollen bees and other insects will drink. Good work. Now for the petals. All around the wavy circle, draw some rounded triangle shapes. You can even make the petals different by drawing them thinner, bigger, shorter, or longer. That's the magic of flowers. They can be anything you want. To make a really pretty flower, let's add more petals. Draw bigger petals all around the flower. Great, looking good, Lingo Kids. Now we need to add a stem to the flower so it grows big. From the bottom of the flower, draw two curved lines down to the ground. Great, now your flower can drink some water. If you want, you can add some leaves, one on each side at the bottom of the stem. Nice and pointy like this. Amazing, Lingo Kids. You've just finished your flower. Now it's time to color. For crayons, you'll need yellow, orange, dark pink, light pink, and green. You can use any color you want, but remember, flowers want to attract bumblebees, so try to use bright, happy colors. Use the yellow crayon to color the stamen. Then, use the orange crayon to color in the little circles. Use the dark pink crayon to color the smaller petals closest to the stamen. <laughs> and then, the light pink crayon to color the bigger petals. Amazing! Finally, use the green crayon to color the stem. <laughs> well done, Lingo Kids. What a beautiful flower you've drawn. Keep drawing. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and drawing along with us. Parents, your child did great. We'd love it if you'd share their artwork with us on social media for a chance to be featured on our channels. There's nothing better than seeing the art made by our Lingo Kids families around the world. Just tag us. See you next time.